Hi, today I would like to go about uh, talking about Windows local services and see how you can uh, create your own Windows services. Let's get started. So I have a Visual Studio Community Edition 2015 and I'm just searching for service template. So I find one here for Windows service. So I'm going to double click on that and that should create for me uh, essentially a project which has everything ready to go. If I switch to my code view, you can see that my service will enhance, uh, inherit from service base and it has get an on start and an on stop method. So in the on start method, I'm going to just put a, a, a way to create a file. And the reason I'm doing it so that when the service start, I can tell whether uh, my method was called or not and it will just be a little proof for that so let's just uh, copy it uh, for right now control c control v and uh, and we are going to name this the uh, files a little bit differently so i'm just calling it on stop and since it doesn't find file we can use system.io so in the standard template, basically when the on start function of the service is called, uh, we'll create a file called in, in temp on start on stop. And I'm going to make sure I go into my C colon TMP directory and delete everything I have here. So it's all good to go. Uh, one thing you want to uh, go here back into design and to be able to uh, look at the properties so if you look at the properties the name of the service is going to be service one i'm going to leave it as is and it can do all these things you can change and play around with it one more thing before you can do this is you have to add an installer to your service so you just click on add installer and if you uh, go uh, back here and look at the properties uh, you can see that the property service name is service one and start type i'm going to leave it as manual so we can go to the Windows services and start and stop manually and uh, but there are various other options if you want to play around with it and one more thing I want to change is to be able to uh, run this under a special account so if we run under user account and when you try to install this Windows service it will ask you for credentials I don't really want to do that right now so I'm going to change it to local system and uh, let's just create a release version of this service so i'm going to go into the solution and uh, start the service in the meantime you can go into my services panel and i can see if i refresh here this is showing my local services and you can see there is no service one and uh, basically the service one gets installed uh, copied uh, at this location Windows service one.exe so I'm going to uh, go there in my uh, Windows terminal okay so uh, I'm going to go into release and here I can find my uh, all my files and everything else you can see Windows service one so to install it what you have to do is uh, basically uh, run the command called install utilities and i'm just have run it before uh, you call install utilities and it should be in your visual studio tools install util and then you just give it the name of the service and that's what i'm doing right now and it says the transaction completed and then service was installed properly so if I go and refresh, you can see my service is here. The mode start type is manual. And if I look here, there's nothing else because it's not really started. So if I start the service, you can see that file that we created gets uh, done, which is excellent. If I stop the service, another file should be created. So you can see on stop is created. And so we're all good. If you want, uh, it's pretty much uh, done in terms of what I wanted to show you. But I also want to show you if you want to uninstall the service, you can just use the install util slash u and it will uninstall the service. 
and uh, once it is uninstalled it should be all gone and so if you want to learn more about this and other things uh, you can basically uh, go to my website search for Gaur Associates go to my website I have these and many other videos there so thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast and you have a great day